We're going to start with the serenity prayer, and then we'll go into the daily reflections. If you or someone you know are questioning yourselves about whether or not you're an alcoholic or whether they are an alcoholic or drug addict, reach out. We can help you. You don't have to do it alone. God, grant me the serenity to accept the things I cannot change, courage to change the things I can, and the wisdom to know the difference. Grant me patience with the struggles that take time, and appreciation for all that I have, tolerance of those with different struggles, and the strength to get up and try again, one day at a time. October 12th, Curbing Rashness. When we speak or act hastily or rashly, the ability to be fair-minded and tolerant evaporates on the spot. 12 Steps and 12 Traditions, page 91. Being fair-minded and tolerant is a goal toward which I must work daily. I ask God, as I understand Him, to help me to be loving and tolerant to my loved ones and to those with whom I am in close contact. I ask for guidance to curb my speech when I am agitated, and I take a moment to reflect on the emotional upheaval my words may cause, not only to someone else, but also to myself. Prayer, meditation, and inventories are the key to sound thinking and positive action for me. Where is God in the equation? That is the question we ask ourselves when agitated or afraid. God is in the pause. We want to rely on Him. But when we are confronted and fearful, we often revert back to our old character defects for our response. We act against our wills just as we did when we drank against our will. Our defense reactions are ingrained with fight or flight. We intellectually know better, but it is in the heat of the moment. We can get overly defensive and strike out to protect an illusional threat. One unkind tirade or one willful snap judgment can ruin our relation with another person for a whole day or maybe a whole year. Nothing pays off like restraint of tongue and pen. We must avoid quick-tempered criticism and furious power-driven argument. The same goes for sulking or silent scorn. These are emotional booby traps baited with pride and vengefulness. Our first job is to sidestep the traps. When we are tempted by the bait, we should train ourselves to step back and think. For we can neither think nor act to good purpose until the habit of self-restraint has become automatic. We have a daily reprieve contingent on the maintenance of our spiritual condition. We strengthen our relationship with prayer, meditation, and selfless service to others. When we are in the zone, feeling His presence, we react like normal people to stressful situations, and our personal relationships are not harmed. We begin to see that all people, including ourselves, are to some extent emotionally ill, as well as frequently wrong. And then we approach true tolerance and see what real love for our fellows actually means. It will become more and more evident as we go forward that it is pointless to become angry or to get hurt by people who, like us, are suffering from the pains of growing up. Courtesy, kindness, justice, and love are the keynotes by which we may come into harmony with practically anybody. When in doubt, we can always pause, saying, Not my will, but thine be done. And we can often ask ourselves, Am I doing to others as I would have them do to me today? The Golden Rule Do unto others as you would have them do unto you. October 12th Curbing Rashness when we speak or act hastily or rashly, the ability to be fair-minded and tolerant evaporates on the spot. 12 Steps and 12 Traditions, page 91. Being fair-minded and tolerant is a goal toward which I must work daily. I ask God, as I understand Him, to help me to be loving and tolerant to my loved ones and to those with whom I am in close contact. I ask for guidance to curb my speech when I am agitated, and I take a moment to reflect on the emotional upheaval my words may cause, not only to someone else, but also to myself. Prayer, meditation, and inventories are the key to sound thinking and positive action for me. Carpe the diem, boys and girls. Please subscribe for more videos. Thank you for watching.